Hello and welcome to Tech Slice. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at all the new features introduced in Wear OS 2.0. So when the update was announced, it showed off four main changes to the system. The first involved the notification shade, the Google Assistant, which, was now, which can now be accessed by swiping right, Google Fit, which can now be accessed by swiping left, and the Quick Settings panel, which has once again been updated. So let's start with the notification panel. Tapping on the screen and swiping up, reveals your messages and notifications. Tapping on one can reveal mo more information and a quick link so you can open up the Play Store for exist example. If you get a text you can tap on it. You've got the option to select three quick replies here. Alternatively you can also use a voice input, send an emoji or use the keyboard built into the system. So let's hit that, you get a tick and it'll reply and then it'll show it in the thread right here. So this allows, this new style allows you to show more notifications on the screen at once. A second update was to the Google Assistant, which now in the new update can be accessed by swiping right. So let's pull it across, you get your assistant here, you get a few quick actions so you can check your heart rate, set a timer, you can also ask Google a question. You've also got a bit of a quote here, and then you've got your settings, which can be accessed by tapping that. So we'll flip back. Here you go, you can see we've got the assistant here. So let's swipe back over, you can see it shows us also, um, shows us the date, as well as the weather. So that's the Google Assistant and its update. So swiping across in the new update now shows you Google Fit. So we'll swipe across and you get this overlook at your activity points and your heart points. You can also click here to start an activity. Just click on it. It'll check your GPS and then you just hit start. If you tap on this screen here though, It'll open up Google Fit where you can check how many steps you've walked, how many calories you've burnt during the day, and how many kilometres you've travelled. Clicking down here you can read your heart rate, start a new workout as well, and then view the settings for Google Fit. And one of the other features introduced in this update, a change to how you change the watch face. Now previously, due to uh, the watch operated, uh, you used to swipe left and swipe right to change the watch face. From now on what you do is you hold down the watch face and it opens up the menu here. So you can go in, use it like you used to, you can see we've got all our watch faces, you can tap it, select it, and there you go. So the final thing that was updated was the quick settings panel which is accessed by swiping down. In here you can see the battery, whether it's connected to your phone. You've also got your now playing section, which we'll get to in a second. You've got your settings, so you can just click on that. It'll access the device settings and various menus. Wiping back down, you can see it's also got your brightness toggle, sound, battery saver, theater mode, do not disturb, and airplane mode. The main update besides the design change was this now playing section. So you can see the song name which will slide along. You've also got the play option here so if we hit play it'll start playing it on your phone or whatever device you've connected to the phone. Clicking this music button opens up the menu where you've got the song information, your time, you've got an option to play the song you can skip ahead and turn up the volume on whatever device you're playing on. Also skip back. And yeah, you've also got some album art in the background. So that's the main changes 
that were introduced with Wear OS 2.0. Now the system remains the same, it still runs Android 7.1.1 and hasn't received a system update since about October of last year. And the way this works is, instead of updating the entire system, Google just pushes an update to the Wear OS app, which can introduce features like this, which all came through on the recent update. And this means that the device can be updated quicker, as it would take longer for the manufacturers to, eat, to roll out the new updates. So, the final thing I want to talk about is the performance. Now, when Android Wear 2.0 st- launched, it had significant. This watch took a significant performance hit. There was noticeable frame drops in the when you were navigating the system. Fortunately, most of this has been fixed. So if we open up the menu, you can see it looks nice and smooth. It looks smoother on in real life than it does on a, f- uh, a recording because it's a slower frame rate. But navigating the system feels much smoother than when the original update launched back in 2017. So this has been a pretty solid update to the watch. Brings uh, a bunch of new useful features. Yeah, I hope you enjoy So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And yeah, see you next time.